Hey everyone, thanks for joining the uh, live stream. Great to have you here. Jump in the chat and let me know that you're here. So this is the second Quest live stream, and it's the first one in its new home on the Quest website. So thanks for joining if you're here. So the, those of you that don't know me, I'm Liam. I'm one of the developers for Archipelago Quest. I'm really enjoying doing these streams, getting to uh, getting to meet you guys, showcase some of the editing and everything that Quest has to offer. So like I said in the uh, last live stream, uh, I'm based in the UK and right now it is just after midnight. So your job role during this stream is to keep me awake. So jump in the chat, let me know that you're here. If you've got any questions, there's a, there's a Q and A section just below the chat. Just hit the ask button, drop your question in there and I can get those answered during the stream. So I've got a whole bunch of images that we're gonna be editing with Quest 02, presets and profiles in this stream. So I can see a, a few people jumping into the uh, into the questions here. Just to let you know, if you are just uh, if you've got a question, pop it in the question part. If you just want to comment, chat, share where you're from, and that you're tuning in, um, if you just hit the X in the little in the top corner, you'll go back to the actual chat window, and you'll just be able to throw your general comments in there. And then any questions, put them in the uh, in the question part. So we've got a wide variety of images here to edit with Questo 2 this evening or afternoon, wherever you might be. So we'll dive in in just a moment. Hey Chelsea, thanks for joining. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Everyone's got it now. So yeah, stick your general comments in the in the chat part. That's the bit I can see um, on the screen as we're going through this. So I can I can kind of see what you guys think as we go through. Let me know where you're tuning in from as well, because I always like to see where in the world people are. And then if you get any questions as we go through, I'll keep jumping back into the into the Q and A part, and we'll get those answered as well. So we'll start off with a question actually, because this is gonna tee up nicely the editing we're gonna dive into in just a moment. So this one's from Perry Smith. Just purchased your Q2 presets. What's the best approach when applying these presets in the post-process scenario? So great question. So we'll dive in, I'll, I'll kind of share some, some tips, some best practices. Uh, if anyone that's watching this live, or if you're watching it after, if you kind of have any questions, uh, you want to know how to do anything in particular when it comes to editing definitely jump in and ask you can try and answer those during this nice i can see all the places that you uh that you're tuning in from now that's awesome 
Cool. So we'll dive in and we'll do some editing. Um, if there's any particular image that you see on the screen here, so I've got 18 different images. They're all different cameras, uh, different subject matter, slightly different lighting conditions. Um, so nice variety. But if, if there's anything that you see that you're really desperate for me to edit next, you can throw that in the chat as well, just so I know which ones you want to see me edit. We might get through them all. We might not. Um, so we can kind of work through it as we go. So before we actually dive into the editing, one thing I'll point out is just at the top left, you'll see the photographer's name and also the settings that the image was captured with. So if you're curious around what lens it was or what aperture it was, you can see that just up in the top corner here. Big thank you to all the photographers that have submitted images for, for us to use. Some absolutely incredible work that we're seeing with Quest. So impressive. Every time, every time I log on, there's just incredible images in the group. So we love it. Keep sharing them. So we're going to be looking at Questo 2 through this. But if you do get any editing questions in general, just feel free to throw those in. I can get those answered later on in the stream as well. So Questo 2, the second set from Quest. This set has been developed by Richard McDowell who is the genius behind Nomad and Terrain. Uh, absolutely incredible presets, as you'll see. If you haven't already downloaded and played with them, make sure to do it because they are unreal. Really beautiful stylized presets. We've got copper tones, bronze tones, some teal tones, really nice rich greens as well. So let's have a look at the set. I've got this first photo here. And I'll just hover through each of the presets just so you can see it. This is AQ021. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice tones. AQ022 just brings out those really nice green tones in the shadows there. And then AQ023 is just really kind of consistently warm throughout. Super beautiful. I think for, for this, you could literally put any of these on and they would look absolutely incredible. But I think I'm going to go for... Let's go for preset one. Now, don't forget that these aren't just presets. You also get the profile and with this set, you have the incandescent profile. I absolutely love this. It's incredible. Uh, this pro profile adds contrast, but also luminance and a really nice kind of soft haze as well. So if I drag this all the way to the left and then all the way to the right, you can see exactly what that profile is doing. Absolutely amazing. I love the effect and I think for this, I'm just going to crank it all the way to 200. It looks so good. Really beautiful backlight. I think I'm going to just boost the contrast a little bit just to counter a little bit of that. Maybe somewhere around there. And honestly, that's, I think, all I would do with this. So if, if we take a look at the before and after. So good. I just love the toning that you get throughout the image. The shadow has got this really nice toning to the highlights here as well, and the skin tones look incredible. So I'll just keep working through these images. If there's any that, like I say, if there's any that you see that you really want me to edit next, there's a, just a number in the top left of each of these thumbnails. Let me know which one you want to see and I can edit that one next for you. 
But let's dive into number two for now. So when it comes to um, applying the presets and getting the most out of them, you know, the question we had before, um, really that there's, there's sort of two steps prior to applying the preset. So we always recommend that you set the exposure and the white balance prior to applying the preset. Now, these are raw, so it, it doesn't really matter. You can, of course, adjust the exposure and the white balance after you've applied the preset. Doesn't make a difference, but it, it really helps you to get the edit that you're looking for um, if you set those prior to ap applying the preset, especially the white balance, because it becomes quite difficult to get that accurate once you've got the preset on there. So I always go exposure first, get it sitting about where I want it and then adjust the white balance. I'm gonna put a little bit more warmth into here with the temperature slider. And then we can go ahead and check out the presets. So AQ021, AQ022, and AQ023. And again, they all look awesome on this, but I think because we've got the uh, the cacti in the background and go for AQ02 too because of the, the way that it renders those greens. Like if we zoom in here, here's before and here's after. Love the green toning that you get with AQ02 too. Again, we've got incandes, so let's have a look at this. So nice, just the way that it kind of renders the contrast and the luminance. It's such an awesome tool to have just in one slider up at the top here. So I'll go for somewhere around about there, 140. I'm just going to bring the exposure down a tiny little bit. And that looks really nice to me. So let's take a look. Love the color of the hair. It just renders it really nicely. And the blues down here as well. But it's all about those greens with O2. This is. This is what it's about. So beautiful. All right, so we've got some requests for some of the images here. So let's have a look. Amber wants me to edit number 11. Let's have a little look. Ah, uh, yes. I can see why this one caught your eye. Cool, so let's increase the exposure. This looks pretty good. I'm just going to cool it down a tiny touch, I think. Yeah, maybe somewhere around there. Let's take a look. Ooh, that mood is unreal. Spoil for choice. I think I'm going to go for two again on this because I like the cool toning we're getting in the shadows here and the way that it kind of contrasts against the skin. So I'm going to bring the exposure up a tiny little bit. Let's play with the profile. I seriously love Incandes. It's such a cool profile. If you're new to profiles as well, I'll just point out that you can actually mix and match presets and profiles so if you've if you've been uh, subscribed since since the start and you've got quest 01 and quest 02 you can mix the profiles from each of those sets with the presets from the opposite set so even more flexibility there so if you love this incandescent profile as much as i do you can throw that on a preset from quest 01 or any other archipelago presets so definitely have a play around with that if you haven't already all you need to do is just click on the little uh, profile browser boxes up here and this will take you into the various different profiles yes yeah, so I'm digging that I really like just the bit of added contrast and punch that we get in with that increase slightly so let's take a look at the before and after Super nice. So you can see in this sort of like fur trim here, just a really subtle T 
teal greenish sort of toning and this for me is one of the things that I love about these presets is just the way that it tones the image uh, you can also see it down here in the in the shadows and this texture here as well so beautiful it just brings out some really nice colors in the shadows but your skin tones look super nice boom all right Chelsea you've asked for eight let's take a look ah yeah cool So exposure is looking good. White balance is good. I could warm it up a little bit more. I usually err on the side of a slightly warmer image. So I'm going to go a little bit warmer. And then let's take a look. Oh, literally one click. Look how good that looks. That is nuts. Quite a hard choice between 021 and 023. What do we think? One or three. I kind of like one because of the separation in the tone in between the color of the sand versus the skin. But then the consistent warmth across the tone range of three is also really nice. Chris has voted three, right? Chris, your say goes. Yeah, that this profile is so cool. I just I'm always tempted just to crank it. So I'm gonna go somewhere around about 130. Look at that. Honestly, these tones are mind blowing. <laughs> We've got a nice divide here. So two people have said three and two people have said one. So there you go. Like I said, hard choice. They both look incredible. Super nice tone in. Kind of has that copper feel, almost bronzy tone into to the image, which is really, really nice. I just love what it's done with the highlights up here as well. Super cool. Yeah, Joy, seriously, the tones are absolutely amazing. All right, what's next? What do you want? Let me know. So Joy said 17, let's have a look. This one down here, yeah, great choice. Cool, I'll pick up the others in a moment. So yeah, keep keep throwing the numbers in there. What do you wanna see edited with Quest 02? For anyone just joining the stream, thank you. I'm Liam, and we're looking at Quest 02 presets and profile. Make sure to jump in the chat and say hello. We've also got the uh, question functionality there as well. So just hit the ask button if you've got a question and I can uh, take a look at those later in the stream as well. Cool, so really, really nice portrait. Ailes work is always incredible. So it's gonna increase the exposure a little bit. I think it needs a touch more. Oh, I could go one way or the other, actually. Actually, maybe cool it down a little bit. I quite like the... Uh...
the white the white wall contrasting. So let's have a look. AQ021. Fire. Absolutely incredible tones. AQ022. AQ023. Again, it's quite a hard choice. I think it's going to be one for this. And I think I'm going to decrease the incandesce profile. This gives a bit of a softer look. So it's set to 100 as default. You can increase it if you want to add more contrast and luminance and decrease it if you want to kind of reduce that as well. So if you want a softer look, you can drag that down. I'm thinking somewhere around about sort of 50 looks pretty good. So these presets are stylized. They've got a real stylized look to them. They're super beautiful. One of the things that we get asked sometimes is around skin tones, and how to adjust presets uh, when it comes to skin tones. So a couple of different ways to do it. So if we jump into the HSL panel and jump into the hue section here, you've got the sliders and uh, skin tones really sit within the orange slider, sometimes a little bit yellow, sometimes a little bit red, but mainly orange. So if you're ever struggling with skin tones, you can kind of come in here and drag the hue around and kind of get those set how you want them. Uh, another tip actually is this little icon here. If you click that and move on to the image, you can click a color within the image, drag it down or up to adjust the hue directly on the image there. And then one other place that you can look at as well. So if, you, if you're finding that your skin tones uh, look a little bit off, could have been the lighting. Um, really what you want to do is, like I said, start with your white balance, make sure that's bang on before you apply the preset. If you put the preset on first, you can tweak your white balance, but it becomes harder to get that to look um, natural and correct. So start with that. Uh, but one other place you can go if you're still struggling with uh, the way that the skin tones are rendering is here, the calibration sliders. Uh, and what I find is um, if you're experiencing that your skin tones are green and you want to remove a little bit of that, the blue primary hue slider here, if you drag it slightly to the left, and you have to be quite subtle with this because this actually adjusts the tonality across the entire image. But if you drag this slightly to the left, that's going to bring a little bit more magenta into the image. So that can offset if you've got slightly green skin tones. Or if your skin tones are looking a little bit too red, you can drag the red primary hue slider slightly to the right. So like I say, be kind of a little bit more delicate with these because they do apply to the entire image. But um, if you are struggling with skin tones, you've tried HSL and you still can't get them looking the way that you want, this is a great place to go, the calibration sliders. But that looks awesome to me. I'm just gonna go back to the preset as we had it incandescent somewhere around there let's take a look at before and after really really nice all right so chelsea's asked for five let's do that and then uh mark i'll get number six for you after So let's go ahead and increase the exposure. Uh, white balance, I think, is looking pretty good. Yeah. So AQ021. AQ022. And AQ023, I think. For this again just because i like the the way that it's rendering those greens behind them uh, just provides a little bit more separation and just a nice amount of pop i just love the greens in aq aq022 so let's set that one it's going to increase the exposure a little bit more and then let's take a look at our 
profile. It certainly does pop those greens. Yeah, I think crank it up a little bit, get that nice amount of contrast there. Could cool it if we wanted to. Go for something a little bit more natural looking, but I do quite like the warmth in it. I absolutely love the blues here as well. So you see the, the way it renders the blues, they're quite desaturated. You get this nice kind of pale blue color, really complements the, uh, the greens. Really, really nice. Cool, so let's take a look at six. Yeah, so it does look like this is an indoor shot. So we can see what these look like on this. So I'm just gonna raise the exposure just a tiny little bit. And just bring a little bit of warmth in there as well. Yeah, somewhere around there. So AQ021. 022, 023. Again, it's quite a hard choice. They all look so good. Um, I'm leaning towards three, but let me know what you think. Pop it in the chat. So this is one, two, and three. It's a tough one because they all look really good. I think through. I'm going to click it, but let me know in the uh, let me know in the chat what you think. Yeah, unanimous vote. Oh wait, now we've got a two in there as well. So majority three, we're going to stick with three for this, but two and one looked incredible as well. So so there's the before and after. Super nice. Again, just the way it's rendering those blues in a eyeshadow just here. Just really complements the uh, the colours it kind of introduces. Right, what have we got next? Let's have a look. So we got a request for 13. Let's do that one next. This one down here. Stunning photo. One incredible location. Look at that. So nice. So exposure's looking good. White balance, I would maybe warm it up just a tiny touch. Not too much. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Absolutely amazing. That was one, this is two. And three. Now this I am struggling with because I could go one of two different ways, I think. 
If I wanted a bit of a cooler look, I could go for 022. If I click it for a moment, I'll show you. So we've got this sort of very subtle, but really nice blue toning through the sky, which I really like. Definitely suits this location. And then down here in the shadows, we've got that kind of subtle greenish toning coming in, which is really, really lovely. And then obviously the warmth across the entire image. So that's one way we could go. Let's take a look at the incandesce profile. I think for this, because it's quite a harsh light, I'd maybe drop that down, just kind of soften the image up a little bit. So that's one option, which looks really good. But I'm also, and this is probably just because I really like warm images, I'm also drawn to AQ023, just because it's really beautifully soft from the start. And you've got a kind of warm tone in across the entire image. So this is kind of the cool option we could go for three less yeah we could go that way and have like a really muted soft tonality to it it's got a really gorgeous grain in questo 2 as well you can see it in the sky over here really really nice let's just take a look at the before and after on that one yeah, that looks really good. In fact, let's go ahead and create a virtual copy. And we'll do the cool edit as well. There you go, so you decide. Got the warm edit with 023 on the left and the cool edit with 022 on the right. I think I'm drawn to this one. Although the cool toning definitely suits the location really nicely, I just think this is like really romantic looking. But let me know which one you would pick. Yeah, Amber, I have no idea where this was taken, but the location looks incredible. It's definitely hard to choose. These both look really nice. <laughs> See, look, there's something there for everyone. We've got two people saying that they go for the cool edit and then myself and Amber going for the left one, the warm edit. So cool. <laughs> yes, Game of Thrones reference there from uh, Chris. Love that. So we've got a question here from Joy, if you decide to change presets after one is applied, do you need to step back to before you applied the first one? No, you don't. You can cycle through these presets and click them at will. The way that they're developed, um, all of the settings will replace the previous settings. Um, so there's sort of two settings that are never applied as part of the preset, and that is your exposure and your white balance. So you set those first and then apply your preset but you can switch between any of the quest presets or archipelago presets. You don't have to go back to the uh, step before you applied the preset and then apply the next one. So um, no issue there. So if we jump back onto this one that we're on before. So we edited this one with AQ023, but we've 
But if we change our mind and decided we wanted to do it with a different preset after, we can just come back to the image here and let's go for two or one. So nice and simple. Got another question here. This one's from Sean. Can you demonstrate how to mix and match presets and profiles? Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a look. So let's go back to this one that we're on before. I'm just going to go ahead and reset it. So we'll go for. Quest 01, let's go for Quest 013. Of course, this has got the diffusion profile. So this came with Quest 01. But if we go into the profile browser here, we can see under Quest 02, we've got the incandes profile just here. So I've got Quest 01 preset on here, and I can go in and apply incandes from Quest 02 I've got the control that I had for that profile. So endless opportunities when it comes to being creative. And we really like seeing the different kind of uh, mix and match options that people come up with between the presets and profiles. Definitely don't overlook the profiles. The amount of people that I talked to and mentioned the profile, and they're like, what, what's the profile? It's one of the most incredible tools just to have one slider up at the top here that adjusts multiple things at the same time. And each set uses this differently. So like I said, with Quest 01, the diffusion profile emulates a diffusion filter. So it adds a haze and a glow to the edges of the image. And then we've got incandes in this in this uh, set. All right, so we've got Chelsea asking for 15. Let's take a look. Ah, yeah, nice. Love this photo. All right, so I know exactly what preset I'm gonna use on this already. But let's go ahead and raise the exposure a bit first. Uh, white balance is looking pretty good to me. Now, I'm almost certain before I even look, it's gonna be 022 because we've got this green here. And we've got the blue in his jacket, which I think is just gonna look so good. So let's just go straight for that and then I'll show you the others after. So that's Quest 022. If I hover over, this is one. This is three. So again, all look really, really nice, but I just think for this, that extra pop of blue that we're getting from 022, and also the greens, the way it's rendering in the background. I just really like the look of that.
those colors are just so complementary work really nice together Got another question here so this is from nicole are these adobe standard to start with uh, yeah so they are so uh, when it comes to the inbuilt profiles there's a few and, and color tends to be the uh, the default one these days but it doesn't work with all camera models so adobe standard tends to be the uh, the base for the uh, profiles but these are creative profiles so they include a lot of different adjustments. Like I said, every profile is a little bit different in what it does. But they do use the Adobe standard as a base. And that just means that if you do, obviously these are designed for raw, but if you do happen to edit a JPEG, so let's say you synchronize these onto your phone using Lightroom Mobile, um, if these were based off the color or monochrome, if it was black and white um, profile, they wouldn't actually work on a JPEG. Um, so because we base these off the Adobe standard, it means you can actually use these on JPEG. So if you sync these onto your phone, you can snap a photo with your, with your phone or with your camera and sync it to your phone if you're out and about. And you can edit the JPEGs with the presets as well. All right, cool. So again, shout out if there's any particular image you want to see. Well, I'm just gonna dive in and start editing some of these. Let's go for this one, because I'm not edited this one yet. So let's just straighten this up a tiny little bit. Again, I love the greens here. So a little bit different from, this is a AQ021, a little bit different from AQ022, which kind of uh, pushes a little bit more saturation into the greens. This one's a little bit more desaturated, but really, really nice toning in the greens here. I love the way that it's rendering the color in the flowers as well. fly through some of these again if you've got any questions make sure to use the ask functionality at the bottom of the chat box we'll get those questions answered if you are just joining the stream thank you and Liam we're just taking a look at quest 02 presets and profile
if you've been with us since the start, if you've got both Quest 01 and Quest 02 and the bonus lens effects that we uh, we had in the first month, give us a little holler in the chat. It's cool to see our day oneers. Quest 023 for this one, I think. I love the warm tone in. I'm going to go for a softer edit and just raise the exposure a bit. Super nice. <laughs> Someone's beady eyed. See Quest 3 and Quest 4 in your presets. Yeah. If you stick around for just a little bit longer, we, we might do a little sneak peek of, uh, of Quest 3. Awesome. Joy, Mark, amazing to have you along on this journey. Thank you for being there from the start. We've got so much awesomeness lined up. Locations incredible. Look at that. Jealous. It's giving me wonderlust. Oh, Nicole, you need to check out those lens flares. They're absolutely amazing. Super cool. Let's take a look. Let's uh, let's throw a lens lens effect on this. I think it's going to be this one. I love that. Love that effect. That was pretty cool as well. Oh, we could go crazy, but I think I like the subtlety of LE04A. So the really cool thing with these uh, lens effects is you can move them around. So I've just hit the K button there, or you can press the, uh, the brush button up at the top. Select the little handle, and then you can actually drag this around to wherever you want. If anyone watching this is new to Quest and you've only got Quest 02, 
and you weren't subscribed when Quest O One and the lens effects came out last month. Don't fear, you can still get them. They are in the archive store on the Quest website. So if you jump on the Quest website, go into the uh, into the section where the presets are, and you'll see some archived presets there. And they're available to purchase for twenty-two dollars each. So if you've seen some edits and you're like, I love those, but I missed them, I joined late, don't worry, jump in the store, you can buy those. So let me have to stick that there, let's take a look at that. Just look at that, looks absolutely incredible. So we just raised the exposure a tiny little bit, applied AQ023, increased the profile, so I increased the incandesce profile just a little bit, around 140, and then we've applied the lens effects, LE04A. Super nice, that's AQ022 again. Just those greens that we're getting in the background here, so good. Cool, so just got a couple of images left to edit, but tell you what, should we do a should a sneak peek of Quest 3. I'm only going to do it if you all comment yes. There we go, they're coming through now. Go on then, just because you've been so amazing. Let's do a little sneak peek. Just a bit of forewarning, you're gonna freak. You're gonna love these presets. So this set's developed by Chris, who developed LXCR, so you know they're gonna be good. So let's take a look, AQ031. Hoo-wee. Such a lovely, moody look to this set. I'm gonna apply the preset, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the profile as well, and then we'll look at the rest of the uh, the pack very quickly. So you get the Dynamics profile with Quest 3. And you can see what that's doing. If we drag it all the way to the left, we get this really muted, moody look to the image. If we drag it to the right, it just adds a bit of pop 
a little bit more punch to the image. So if you want something a bit cleaner, a little bit more punchy, you can drag that to the right. So loads of flexibility there. <laughs> Chris has said no. I'll stop then, Chris. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> All right, so AQ032 is potentially my favorite from this set. And I know it's a favorite of Richard's as well. Look at that. Incredible. Really nice, cool blue toning in the shadows here, but we still get those really nice skin tones. Again, the dynamics profile so we can determine the overall look of the image that we want. And then the last one we have is AQ033, which is this beautiful, rich warmth throughout the image. Super nice. So I think for this, I would go for, I don't know, preset one or preset two. I can never decide. I'm gonna go for two and I'm gonna add a tiny bit more temperature and then I'm gonna bring the dynamics down because I love the moody look that you get with this. Look at that. Super nice. Or if you want a bit more punch, drag those dynamics all the way up and we get that. So there you go, sneak peek at what's dropping next month. Yeah, cheers, Nicole. We certainly do. We certainly make sure that we uh, we don't create presets that give freakish orange skin. So I'm glad you noticed that. Cool. So there you go. That was a, a, a lovely sneak peek. I'm not showing you any more. You're gonna have to wait until the first week of the of next month to get your hands on those. Yeah, there we go. Everyone's excited now. Cool. So we'll wrap the stream up soon, but there's still time. If you've got any last questions, either stick them in the Q&A section or you can just throw them in chat because I can see those coming through now. One more image. <laughs> what did you want? Which one? Let's do one more. We've only got, I think we've only got two or three that we haven't edited. We could go for this. So we've got nine and 17, let's have a look. Yeah, so 17 is what we're on. So this is a bit of a more difficult edit because the, um, the white flowers are a little bit overexposed. Yeah, 
think I'll go for something like that. So yeah, we've just brought the, the highlights down quite a bit, brought the shadows up a little bit just to kind of balance out the overexposure in the flowers. We've got some nice color toning in the in the sand, in the pink ribbon here as well. The browns in the hat, super nice. Oh yeah, number nine. Let's do that and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a wrap. If you get any more questions though, do throw them either in the Q&A or just into the, uh, into the chat there and we can get those answered before we wrap the stream up. Let's have a look at this one. So really nice image. I'm going to straighten it up a tiny little bit. Exposure. I'm just going to cool it down just a tiny touch. I love that. So nice. I think I'm going to struggle to decide on this one as well. Yeah, I'm going to go for. 023 Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's take a look. Super nice. Let's zoom in and have a little look. Boom. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining. We'll be doing these every month. And we will be uh, sharing the stream after. So if you do miss one, you can watch it back. But it's great to have you here and interacting live because this is what I like is, is getting to know everyone in the Quest community, both on the uh, Facebook group, but also through these live streams as well. So thank you very much for taking the time to join. Hope you enjoy enjoyed it. Nice little sneak peek of Quest 3 in there as well. Just a reminder, make sure to check out the rest of the quest page if you haven't already. I know some people will just dive straight into the presets, but the education page has got a bunch of uh, tutorial videos on there. There's some gear reviews, editing tutorials. We've got Lighthouse, which is a series from Chris, all about using light. So definitely check those out. Yeah, you know what? I'm not actually even that tired now. I'm just getting into the flow of it. So it's, it's just after one in the morning here. But love this. Awesome. Well, thanks again, everyone. And make sure to uh, to join. We'll share when the next stream is going to be next month, but make sure to join next month as well. Take care.